and our bell pepper I'm just gonna use half of this bell pepper, red bell pepper, just half because I think I already have enough with the green bell pepper. Just want to cut the uh, thyme in two because it seems like it's a little bit too long to me. Okay, so let's move these guys over to the plate. Okay. See, that's how important it is to have a clean counter when you're cutting because your stuff will roll off to the side and stuff like that. And you just don't want to get you know uh, your food into dirty places or dirty counters or so now we doing our scotch bonnet pepper Ooh. and again the onion with my eyes <laughs> and I think it's a good thing for onions making your eye tear I think there's some health aspect towards that uh, whole scenario so in that case I try to welcome it whenever I do okay last but not least the tomato and I think by now the lobster should be cool from boiling and uh, we're gonna go ahead and prepare that one lobster tail for uh, the curry part of the video now Gotta get that lobster tail out. And I think it's this one, yep. And we're gonna go ahead, drain it off, and then start preparing it for uh, the curry dish. Okay. Aha. So in the meantime, I'm going to set this pot here to start preheating this pot for uh, the curry uh, lobster tail. Yeah, so I want to put some water, about that much, half a cup, heat on, and 
get the vegetables. And here we go with the vegetables. And I gotta come back and add the uh, curry. Oh, one pepper fell. And we don't want to overboil or overcook this because then they're going to get too soggy and all of that stuff. So just want to kind of like warm them up a little bit. Now it's time to add some um, coconut oil. Again. This time I just want to use a tablespoon. And it's time to add our curry powder. Don't want to overpower it with a curry powder. Two tablespoons should be well enough. Okay, push it around a little. Try to squeeze out these onions from one another so they spread out. And now it's time to shell the meat from the lobster sh tail shell so we're gonna shell with a spoon or even a fork or a knife you know if you know your way around uh, taking the meat out of the shell of the lobster tail then you could almost use anything even your finger <laughs> okay there we go Time to start chunk slicing the lobster tail meat which I've extracted from the shell. And I know this is not a lot, but this is just a small demonstration of how you could do your lobster tail and curry it down. Okay. Now we're ready to add it to the pot. And it's add time. I'm just going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. So the curry could get into the, the meat part of the lobster and we should be good. Now that we're at the end of the video, we got our curry shrimp lobster tail with the vegetables in there, ready to be eaten. I just want to say thanks for watching and be good.